Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our coverage of Invincible. In today's video, we will be covering the entire comic book history of the one and only Battle Beast. As with our other Invincible videos, this video will contain massive spoilers for the show, so if that's something you're not really into, then I guess wait 10 years for the final season of the show to premiere, and then you can come back and check this video out. For everyone else, let's get right into it. Battle Beast's true name is Thok, and he is a Leonine who was born to a world of turmoil. As he grew, he valued combat above all else, and being a Leonine granted him with some natural advantages that he would use against his opponents. His senses are highly acute. His enhanced vision allows him to see in near total darkness, and his hearing is so sensitive that he can hear changes in acoustic pressure of negative 10 decibels. Thok can also detect the most minute variances in sound, able to distinguish differences of as little as one-tenth of a tone, and can hear sounds four to five times farther away than humans. Additionally, his sense of smell is 14 times stronger than a human's, and his whiskers can detect minuscule shifts in the air. As a child, he trained vigorously, honing his abilities to the peak of perfection, and attained nearly unparalleled proficiency in the use of all known weapons. Due to a magical curse, he was gifted with unlimited endurance, near invulnerability, immense power, and yearning to find a worthy opponent, Thok put his unmatched strength to good use, defeating anyone who stood in his way. Eventually, he brought upon an era of unprecedented peace on his world, leading to an unmatched utopia as no planet in the cosmos ever dared to challenge the might of the legendary Battle Beast. While his deeds brought him great fame, he longed to find a worthy opponent, so he left this planet in search of greater warriors. The stories of Thok's exploits on his home planet would be passed down through the generations. He was venerated as an invulnerable and immortal warrior with powers unique to him and him alone. He became a true legend, one that no other Leonine even knew was real. After leaving his homeworld, Battle Beast became known as the Scourge of the Twin Galaxies. Fighting his way through the cosmos, he conquered a thousand worlds, taking the heads of defeated champions as his personal trophies. Empires known throughout the galaxy trembled at the mere mention of his name, however, he could still not find what he longed for above all else, a truly worthy opponent. Eventually, he was informed by an unspecified party that Earth would provide a true challenge for him. After all, the Guardians of the Globe were formidable foes, not to mention the one known as Omni-Man resided there. But once he arrived on Earth, the Guardians were already defeated, and Omni-Man was nowhere to be seen. Eventually, a crime lord known as Machine Head promised Battle Beast a true challenge if he would work as Machine Head's bodyguard. Eventually, Titan and Invincible worked together to try and take down Machine Head, and Battle Beast was there to stop them. Commenting that while Invincible may be the strongest being on Earth, Battle Beast was not from Earth. During the battle, the new Guardians of the Globe arrived, and after defeating Black Samson and Bulletproof, Battle Beast spared their lives claiming that killing them would prove nothing as they were a pathetic waste of his time and not considered worthy enough to even kill. Despite going easy on the two, Battle Beast put Black Samson and Bulletproof in the hospital for weeks and Black Samson was left in a coma for even longer. After the battle, Battle Beast leapt through a portal and abandoned Earth as there was no challenge for him there. And before we get to the next part, there is a lot of information coming up here that may be confusing for those who have only seen the show. So it may be worth checking out our Omni-Man video first, just for a little bit of backstory and then coming back to this one. So that being said, let's continue. Eventually, Battle Beast was imprisoned by a race of beings under the rule of the Viltrumite Empire. This is something that Battle Beast likely allowed to happen as he is vastly more powerful than those who had imprisoned him. Whether by luck or just by pure coincidence, Nolan Grayson, also known as Omni-Man, was also imprisoned here, and Alan the Alien went there to free Nolan Grayson. And while there, he also freed Battle Beast and convinced him to join his cause, as he would help Battle Beast find a worthy opponent. Battle Beast agreed to help, but warned Alan that he would not be commanded. 
When the two broke into the sacred Viltrumite execution chamber, Battle Beast's bloodlust began to boil over as he had heard of the Viltrumites and their legendary power. Wasting no time, Battle Beast leapt into a fight against the Viltrumites. Eventually, Alan busted a hole in the spacecraft, launching Battle Beast and his opponent into the vacuum of space, although this didn't slow Thok down, and he continued to pummel his enemy until they were dead. Unfortunately, this Viltrumite was not the worthy opponent that he had been searching for. And because Battle Beast could not fly, he was left stranded in space, floating aimlessly until he was found by a Coalition of Planets search party. Despite being stranded in space and frozen completely solid, he was still bloodlusted and seeking his next challenge. Luckily, a member of his race, known as Mok, was an ambassador for the Coalition, and he likely convinced Thok to remain with the Coalition to assist them. Battle Beast agreed and worked with the Coalition until it was time to meet the Viltrumites in battle yet again. During this battle, Thok was invaluable, taking down one Viltrumite and using her as a weapon to fight seven other Viltrumites simultaneously. Eventually, Thaddeus, the leader of the Coalition, an undercover Viltrumite, along with the Space Racer, Omni-Man, and Invincible, destroyed the planet of Viltrum, which briefly knocked Battle Beast out. But after regaining his consciousness, Thok charged the leader of the Viltrumites, Thrag, who truly was the ultimate challenge. Not even Alan, Invincible, or Omni-Man could stand a chance against him. However, Thrag caught Battle Beast with a swipe to the jaw, making him bleed and sending him flying into space once again. Forced to retreat due to Thrag's immense power, the Coalition of Planets regrouped and Battle Beast was sent back to his standard mission routine, arriving on oppressed planets and freeing them, allowing these newly freed planets to join the Coalition and enjoy peace for the first time in a long time. After defeating the leader of a shark planet as well as their greatest warriors, Thok was called back by the Coalition. But before leaving, a female of the shark-like race begged Thok to take her as his mate, which he agreed to. After arriving at the Coalition's home base, Thok was brought into a meeting with Alan, who had taken over the Coalition after Thrag killed the previous leader, Thaddeus. Alan tells Battle Beast that without a ship, Thrag could not go far, as Viltrumites need to hold their breath in space, so Thrag would need to stop occasionally for air. Alan then tasks Battle Beast with tracking down the strongest being in the cosmos and killing him once and for all, which of course, Battle Beast agrees to. On the way there, he takes time to make love to his mate, but is interrupted when Space Racer finally located Thrag bringing with him a Warhammer and Greatsword to battle Thrag, Thok arrives on the planet to challenge a truly worthy opponent. But Thrag isn't interested in fighting Battle Beast as he already defeated the Leonine Warrior once before. But Battle Beast claims that their fight is not over as they both still live and tells Thrag he was never looking for his equal, but someone stronger to give Battle Beast a glorious death. But before the fight could start, Battle Beast's mate released a group of Ragnars, mindless animals who were powerful enough to kill even the strongest Viltrumites. This was a tactic that was meant to only be used if Battle Beast was killed in battle. So Battle Beast worked with Thrag to kill the Ragnars, and despite being called a fool by Thrag for helping him, Battle Beast would allow nothing to steal his glory. But there was a problem. Thrag was torn open by one of the Ragnar, so this could never be a fair fight. Unless Battle Beast cut open his own stomach. That's right. Battle Beast takes his own greatsword and cuts open his midsection to even the odds. Thrag at first seems impressed by the show of valor, but then admonishes Battle Beast for treating this like a game. But Battle Beast responds with, This is no game. This is what I live for. This is my life and the ultimate showdown begins. The two fight each other for days on end with no breaks, each seeming to be the true equal to the other. Trading blows while Battle Beast relishes every second of the fight he'd been longing for his entire life. Until after days of endless battle, Thrag gets the upper hand and crushes the heart of Battle Beast. And with his dying breath, Battle Beast thanks Thrag for giving him a glorious death. After defeating Battle Beast, 
Thrag skinned him and wore Battle Beast as a part of his ceremonial garb to commemorate their battle and honor his worthy opponent. But the legend of Battle Beast did not end there. There was a prophecy that another much like Thok would eventually arrive, and this prophecy came true in the form of his daughter, who vowed to get revenge for her father by killing every Viltrumite in the known universe. And that is the entire story of Thok, also known as Battle Beast or the Scourge of the Twin Galaxies. He's one of my favorite characters in the entire comic book series because he just loves to fight. He's just like a Dragon Ball Z character. He's only in it for the ultimate glory. And, you know, a simple character like that can be a ton of fun. Let me know what you guys think of Battle Beast down in the comments. Are you excited to see his battle against Thrag? finally animated in the series. I know it's going to be a long, long time before we get to see that, but I just can't wait. Thanks again for watching, everybody. We do really appreciate it. Remember to like and subscribe if you do enjoy content like this. We're constantly pushing out new comic book videos for you guys to enjoy. Thanks again for watching, and remember the motto, it's Battle Beast over everything, and I'll see you guys next time.